Yo 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 It's the Reverend back once again like the Renegade Master I am Got another unboxing video but I've not done one in ages so all my streaming setup is all over the shop And here it is Big old box of Rooney Need to find I don't even know where my cutter is So I'm gonna have to improvise with this device Weirdly the uh, label is on the base of the box. Uh, so what can I tell you about this? I know what this one is, which is nice. So oh. everyone wants to chat to me today, so that's uh, it's nice having a it's nice having a big old box to take things out of. But here we go. Let me open it up. Oh, let's bring that down there. <coughs> bring that down there and put this in here because I don't need this box no more so what can I tell you what can I tell you so many many years ago well maybe two years ago he says reaching over to this side I got uh, quite interested in something called the Evercade and uh, I can't remember where I saw it or why I wanted it, but I wanted it and I saw it and so I got it. So I bought myself an Evercade. And you'll have seen unboxing videos of Evercade games and the Evercade, but also the Evercade VS, which is the home console. And March last year, maybe March last year, Evercade announced that they were releasing a new handheld called the Evercade X EXP. Well, X and uh, I thought I want some of that. Go with my other two Evercades, that'd be good. So I picked up, uh, I put a pre order in for the limited edition jobby that was due to be delivered uh, October, November time, maybe, maybe November time. Anyway, it got pushed back a bit. Can't worry about these things, cannot worry about these things. And then Oh, the, the lorry containing all the uh, non, is it all the non-European copies, uh, consoles, uh, got robbed. All of them, every single one. And so Blaze, the people who made the Evercade, and Funstock, the people who we ordered through, contacted everyone and said, really sorry, we're going to have to rebuild every single one of them. And then they sent out... The replacement it has come today so i mean it'd be nice to keep it in oh well i don't like I, this is like proper thick plastic they've put on it which is really hard to get into if you're not using a proper cut -o. and if i'm not using a proper cut -o, i might damage it and that is something i don't want to do so i'm trying to work out one have i got a cut -o appropriate item to hand and if i have i can use that but if I have not, oh, I'm gonna have to improvise. What's that? That's a bit of plastic. That won't do. So I'm going over this side. I really, I tell you what I want. I tell you what I want. What I really, really want. I want an iPhone SIM card removal tool. But this will have to do. This is my little, my little box of tings. Uh, so I should be able to just live. Oh, that one will do. What I'm hoping is I can get in. Oh, that was close. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do press this one and we'll we'll try and get this in here. So <clears throat> this ain't right, is it? Let me just you're gonna see some live no do, 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 do. Behind the scenes stuff of my streaming. There we are. That looks a bit better. I'll, I'll need to tidy that up. Do, be, do, be, do. Do, do, do. Uh, can I transform flip vertically? That's the wrong one. Transform flip vertically. Dun, 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 and then flip horizontally. Dun, 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 dun. I told you I've not done one of these in ages. 
Where'd my little co go? Oh my goodness, I'm all there is. I'm a liability to myself. I keep forgetting stuff. But I have uh, broken the seal in one corner. I might go for another one over here. It's lots of space. But yeah, so quite a, an exciting, quite an exciting purchase. I don't need the mouse anymore. There we are. So I'll put the mouse up there. It shouldn't be in shot. Quite an exciting, like, first thing. Disappointing, because, like, people who weren't... People whose orders hadn't been stolen, they got to unbox them. And so everyone's going to have seen an unboxing. However, this is the limited edition one, so maybe there's a bit more I can do. Uh, it got announced, and this was really cool. I mean, properly cool, in my opinion. It got announced that they had partnered with Capcom, and that the Ever KDXP would come with a whole bunch of Capcom games built in. Sounds very cool, but weirdly, it's against the ethos of uh, against the ethos ethos of the Blaze. The whole idea being, it was supposed to be, and it is a cartridge gate based system. That's uh, the Ever Kates. It's all cartridge based. There are a few kind of oh, that's doing lovely audio. There's a few uh, additional like free games that you get with cartridge combinations and the like. But yeah, really kind of strange. However, Street Fighter Two's there. I'm guessing that's Mega Man. I, I, I don't know a ton of Capcom games, but I do know my Street Fighters. But yeah, so they're built in. And I presume we get them forever, but it's a licensing agreement, so who knows how that's going to last. So here we are, look, let's see if I recognise Street Fighter 2. R-Type, I mean, who doesn't want to play R-Type? Oh, I've got a bit of a damage to my books, but I'm not going to worry about it. R-Type, I uh, don't know what that one is. Yeah, that is R-Type. That definitely looks like R-Type. Uh, is that 1942? There's Street Fighter 2 again. Definitely Mega Man, I know. I recognise Mega Man, Mega Man Street Fighter 2. But yeah, I mean, it's Final Fight. Might be that one. Street Fighter 2, Mega Man, 1942. But yeah, so there are. there's an example of like all the cartridges. Atari, Atari, Namco, Galico, Pico, Codemasters. I mean, there's a whole selection of them. And I've got them, I think I've got them all. There's some new ones that have just been released that I may not have. But here we go. We're opening up the Evercade limited edition. So, yeah, I did get a launch day one. It is limited edition. I mean, it's interesting yellow that's happening, but that's the camera trying to really struggle. I've got the shittest camera that does my overhead shot, and I really don't make its life easy. Uh, so, yeah, there's the box. We've looked at that. It's got the Evercade detail. It has an official Evercade seal of quality. Now, to make life harder for the ones that were stolen, they have altered what, the design of the box and what's included. Uh, uh, but there are legitimate ones out there. So I think they know the serial number of the details of audio. So if any of them are trying to keep connected to the internet and all of that, they can, Evercade can identify it, or Blaze can ever identify it. Retro gaming, level up. <gasps> quick start guide so oh that's what, who doesn't like a quick start guide i don't want to read a i mean that's it a sheet of paper let's get it out here we go let's see what's included in here i'm just emptying the box uh, don't mind me while i'm oh, don't mind me while i empty the box uh, there's a cable oh man uh, so that is the box empty. So we'll, we'll put this to one side. It takes up a lot of real estate on my desk that's available. So I'm going to put that to one side. Uh, the only thing I've not taken out is the cable, guys. So, you know, so so what we're going to start with is we're going to start with the old Evercade. Tete, Evercade XP. Now, the big difference they made with this one is it is designed, I don't know, should we turn it on? Does it ship with any power? Let's find the on button. Uh, USB-C charging. Uh, lots of rubber grommets. That's strange. Uh, let's have a look. What do we reckon of power? And an H a mini HDMI out, yep. Try that one. Oh, I've got a green light, so something's happening. Uh, 
That's got to be volume. Now, there's no cartridge in there, but we know that the uh, Evercade has come with English. It's come with uh, the Capcom games built in, so I'm not going to worry about connecting to. We'll skip that one. A skip. We'll accept the EULA. Am I really going to have to scroll through all of this? I think I am. No cartridge inserted. I don't have it. There's five get hidden games. So I'll get to find out what they are. And then here's the EXP collection. Here we are. 1942, 1943, Battle of Midway, 1944, The Loop Master, Bionic Commander, Breath of Fire, Captain Commando, Commando, Final Fight, Ghosts and Ghouls, Ghouls and Ghosts, sorry, Legendary Rings, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Mega Man X, Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting, Strider, Wolf of Battlefield Mercs, and Vigorous. So, I mean, here we go. Should we try a bit of SF? To Hyper Fighter, just for you. I mean, if I was a better streamer, I'd be connecting this to a thing. Let's see. I mean, Street Fighter 2. Legitimate. Can you hear that? To press start. Ryu versus Saga. This will be interesting. Oh. Always got to be Guile. Oh, bugger. This is not going to work well for me, is it? KO! I mean, it's rare you're going to get a perfect to get Zangief. Zangief. So here we go, let's see if we can. Oh, hello. I'm not getting another perfect, am I? Oh, hello. Oh, spinning pile driver. Could never do that. I mean, this will be fun. I'll, I'll watch it. Oh. I'll beat him, but I've got no health. But yeah, anyway. I should find out what the power button is. Do you reckon it's that one? No, that just lights up green. Are oh, you man? And I, oh, that's the, the rotate button. Whoa, I don't want to press that too many times. What I might do is press that button and quit. Oh, press that button and quit. And then I'll press that button. And that's turned off. So there you are. There's the Evercade X EXP. Oh, I sh should have shown you the Tate or Tate mode. But let's see what's included. A lovely hard case. Look at that. Evercade EXP branded will go wonderfully with my official Evercade case. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll just just for, for fun, I'll show you the comparison. So what are we looking at? We're looking at, or well, I would say, identical size screen, but weirdly a, a, long, a wider form factor. That might be to complement the Tate or uh, Tate mode, I don't know. Much prefer the button feel of this. Much prefer it. It's nice it says limited edition on there as well. Uh, it'll take me a while to get used to it. Now this had mini USB, uh, sorry, mini USB headphone socket volume. If I flip this up, you've got, I think, status light, volume, USB-C headphone socket, and a T button, so that's a Tate button. That rotates the screen. And if I flip this up, you've got mini USB, HDMI, cartridge slot, power on, switch. I like physical switches, that's my thing. Here we've got physical switch. I mean, these rubber bits feel dreadful. 
whether they've not been put in correctly or what, but they are pr sitting proud quite a long way. So this one here on the right hand side feels the correct location at the front, but at the back is sitting proud. This is proud on all sides, proud on all sides, proud on all sides, proud on all sides. Oh, this one's feeling a bit better. But that is, for me, that is poor quality finish. Unless that's how it's supposed to be, but it really does, I reckon. The, I mean, they're just screw covers, aren't they? They just haven't fitted them properly to the, the, the console. I mean, that's dreadful. If I can pull them out with my fingernails, you haven't done that correctly. So that is something I'm going to have to do. And that now feels correct. If I, I might have to fix this on camera. Apologies for my hair. I'm overdue washing it and a shower and a wash. But yeah, they. I mean, that is poor quality control. Look how proud that sits. And by proud, I mean, well, you all know the other meaning of the word proud, don't you? I mean, it's there we are i mean i should not be the person having to put these in properly that is quite shocking quality control in my opinion uh, i know these got rushed out and i appreciate that but it really feels like some that did not get checked from a quality perspective but anyway oh and lots of fingerprints so there we are so the original case fabric space for games let me just, just slide it in there the hard case let's open it up so it's got a nice little hang uh, thing so I could attach it to something a lanyard I don't know hang it around my neck and then we open it up it's oh hello glad I opened that up so that fits under there I guess oh yeah and then there's a nice space for some games oh look what have I got there I've got an Evercade keyring it says in Kirk insert cartridge so that's where the games live and let me just take because i know i've got some games in this in this this one here if i just unzip this i'll take one out what have i got in here i've got a couple of games i've got atari Lynx collection two i've got atari Lynx collection one there is a lot of space for games in there and because of how and then morph cat games uh collection one as well now because how low profile the console is literally half of the case let me just see so can you see half, half the case can be used for looking after the uh, games. So you've got lots of space in there for games if you want them. I'd say you've got lots of space in there. So let me just close that up. I've shown you the key ring. Uh, we go over here. Now, these are the games that came. Ooh, do you know what? We'll do the games last and we'll have a look at this stuff. Games. Well, we won't. Yeah, we'll, no, we'll do the secret envelope first, uh, last. So here we go. Let's see what we've got here. Quick start guide. This would be useful to know what the buttons did. So they are power, volume, headphones. Great. Mini HDMI power. Yeah, so I was right on the power. Game menu play. And then look, there's do not cover re events. Well, that's interesting. What are the re events? And there's the light. Explain what the lights mean. Didn't notice re events. I hope that wasn't the uh, things I've just put the rubber grommets over. Quick start guide. Very nice. Then I'm gonna, oh, this is the stuff I like. Some nice postcards. R-Type in the hunt, Truxton and Tiger Helling. Limited edition postcards. Nice if you wanted to make like a display. That would go very well with this. It's just like a little, is this an A4 poster? I hope I don't rip it. Yeah, so look, look, isn't that lovely? I mean, it's just a lovely thing. I love stuff like that. And this is why I have the Evercade and I love them. And I pre-ordered the limited edition cons home console and the EXP. I missed out on the black Evercade original handheld. Such is life. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? A dominion dominated by hatred and carnage. That is the Baido Empire. They live... There live weird and monstrous creatures, a sight of which you will horrify you. Horrify! Horrify! Uh, your mission is to annihilate them all. Here begins a spectacular battle in, suspension th and in suspense and thrill. Uh, I mean, R-Type is a great game. I mean, 
So I was a, you may have seen other videos or listened to my podcast, but I was a PC gamer. So for me, I didn't have R-Type. I had Xenon 2, very similar in structure. And here we go. This is the last thing I'm going to cover off. The Limited Hero Edition Certificate of Authority. This certificate recognized the Evercade heroes. I'm a hero. Just me and Gary Lineker. With an Evercade EXP limited edition that's reduced in this limited quantity. We thank you for your for waiting for this limited edition. Whether you've been with us from the start or a new fan, you've helped Evercade become part of retro gaming history. This one is for you. We hope you enjoy. Do you know what I do enjoy? And like some of these signatures, these guys, if you're on the Discord, these are the people you chat to. Remember that. These are actual human people. And they are spending money creating a product that people are wanting to buy. And it's supporting the industry. That's the best bit. I mean, supporting the industry. You go on Amazon if you want. Spend your ten pound on your shitty stolen ROM, crappy handheld, or go join the Evercade gang. One of us. One of us. So we'll open up the games because you know. Oh, there we go. Because you know I'm not someone who I don't have stuff kept for best. Everything I have gets opened and played. So here we go. This is Toplan. Uh, arcade one, suggesting there's going to be an arcade two. I like, I like their confidence. So let's have a read of the books. There's no little postcards or anything. Do you remember they got those little cards? They were nice. They were, uh, were nice. Let's have a look. About Toplan. Toplan's gaming division was established in 1984. Several years after the company was formed, after video game makers Orca and Crux went bankrupt, four employees came together to make Toplan. Among these employees were Masahiro. Huge, who or Huge, uh, Huge, who joined the Orca in '82 and continued to work for the industry for the last 40 years. How fantastic! Planning, programming, and sound. Let's have a look at the games. The Genesis Toe Plans. That's pretty cool. Then we've got Tiger Heli, a vertical scrolling helicopter shoot 'em up. Alcon, a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up. Guardian, a side scrolling uh, action game. Gold Nature Toplan. I love these booklets. I mean, it's Flying Shark. Oh, what's that? Vertical Shooting Shooting Shoot. Shoot. Don't mind if I do. Trucks Turn. Vertical Shooting Shoot. 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 Don't mind if I do. Zero Wing. Uh, 1989. Well, many people know Zero Wing for its other intention of using intro. Intentionally amusing intro. It wasn't added. This wasn't added until its European home port. Toplan in the 90s. Snowbross. And Snowbrooks, there it is, so I was scrolling. So, yeah. Oh, and Techie Packy. You don't have to make straight lines as some other puzzlers, just set of five cut, same colored blocks. And there, have you got them all? Yes, I have, I think. So that's Toplan 1, Arcade 1, and IRAM Arcade 2. Ugh. Sorry, IRAM Arcade 1. I mean, the fact they've got Capcom on this. I know it's not as a cartridge, and I think I think they've mentioned or alluded to that's a licensing thing. But fantastic, fantastic. Here we go, IRM1. That's the cart. They're nice-looking carts. And here's the little booklet. Here we go. About IRM... R type. I can't. I love R type. I love it. I love. I love R type. I love it. Moon Patrol. I don't remember Moon Patrol. It's definitely an arcade game. It definitely looks like an arcade game, doesn't it? In the Hunt. That's pretty cool. A submarine hunting game. Nineteen ninety-three. I'm looking very low down in this camera, aren't I? Shall I pivot it down? What happens if I do that? There we are. That's a bit better. We all fight. Battle Chopper. Don't remember Battle Chopper. Lightning Swords. That'll be interesting. A sword based. Uh, a sword based beat em. Uh, action beat. Action game. Yeah, I think. I'll, sounds good. Ten yard fight. That's got to be an American football game. That'd be interesting. I, I mean, you know, I'm not in a sporting game, so I, I have a soft spot for American football games. I do like trying them out. So there's that. Uh, 
So I'll have to add them to my list of Evercade games. These are cartridges 7 and 8 of the Arcade Collection. Is it the Arcade Collection? I'm trying to remember what they do. Games marked with a star are best played on the EXP handheld in tape mode. Tate mode. So there are 8 games, 6 games. They came in the pack and then we saved the best till last. I mean, part of me doesn't want to... I wonder if I can open it without ripping. Let's have a look. I'm going to open it. Here we go, XP Limited Edition. <sighs> Capcom Collection. Tells you how to do... Oh, I mean, it's such a shame, I've got to say, that Capcom Collection isn't in one of these. Such a shame, because they've essentially... This looks to be... I'm, I need to keep that in. This looks to be a... Uh, this looks to be essentially the book that you'd have got in the Capcom edition. Meet the Warriors, Ryu, Ken, E Honda, Vega, Chudney, Blanca, Zangief, Zangief, as I called him, Dalisam, Saga, Goyle, Balrog, M. Bison. They were the other way around, weren't they? Were they? Yeah. Balrog. Yeah, they got changed. Uh, so Mega Man. I never played the Mega Man games. That was a NES thing, so I didn't have one, so it didn't happen. Uh, Strider. That could be interesting. 1942, 1943, 1944. Final Fight, I like my beat em ups. And you play as Hagar, the mustachio dude. That's who I'd play as in Final Fight. Commando, I think I've played, so I'm going to enjoy playing Commando. Uh, it's a vert I think it's vertical stroll. Is it a vertical stroller? Yeah. So I'll, I'll definitely enjoy playing Commando. I don't remember Wolf of the Battlefield. Don't remember Bionic Commando or Captain Commando. Breath of Fire looks like a big old RPG. Yeah. I've never really played my RPG. Oh, so I've played a few of them, but I never really got into them. They're just they're really really. Unless you look at like. Well, Fallout's not an RPG, is it? So, uh, yeah. But look at this lovely book, Ghosts and Ghouls. Ghouls and Ghosts. Ghosts and Goblins. There's a whole load of these. I like them. <laughs> well, in fact, while many believe Arthur's famous boxers have hearts on them, series creator Tokuru Fujiwara recently revealed that they are, in fact, meant to be strawberries. Legendary rings, I don't know. I don't know about Forgotten Worlds and Volgus. What on earth is that? Oh, Volgus, Capcom's first video game. Ah. <gasps> so there you are, that's that. Now I hid... I hid my discount code so you didn't see that because I need that. But... And then, as I said, I mean, this would have been beautiful as a as a cartridge. Maybe that will change in the future. Another poster. I mean, what a lovely thing for a games collection. But yeah, ba da ba, ba da ba, ba da ba, ba da ba, ba da ba. I need to just write this code down, don't I? You may have seen it, and then I'll get into a lot of trouble. Uh, so. Yep, there we are, that's all done. So I can put this back in here. And the reason that's useful because I'm behind on some of the games. There's some new ones being announced, so I will get onto fun stock and order them. But there we are, guys. It's a lot later than expected. I only received it on Friday. And I just haven't been uh, stuff seen going on, so I've not been able to unpack it. But there we are. The Evercade. Oh, there's one other final thing that I've put down. So oh here it is. As a thank you to us, they included a, a fish for, for waiting and dealing with the uh, dealing with the shenanigans of it being stolen. They gave us an official Evercade uh, screen protector. So I should put that on, but if anyone who knows me, I am not a screen protector in person. But it's a two pack, two, two screen protectors, a cleaning cloth and applicator. I think I probably should put it on. It's made of real glass. But there we are, that came with it. So if you've got any questions about the EXP, 
I think that IRM cartridge is going to get an absolute uh, absolute beating as is the Capcom built-in games uh, it's got dual shoulder buttons which is an upgrade from the original which is nice matches I think the controllers now uh, the uh, the VS really disappointed about the quality control there must they must be the vent maybe it gets very hot should we try sliding a game in see what happens here we, are, here we goes good fit so the original vs could struggle a bit well i'll tell you what let's turn it on see what happens Bidding. Oh, it's not going to make a one-up sound is it So when you're in Tate mode, you only have those two buttons, you see. No hidden games unlocked. I think it's good. It's always got to be dark, yeah. Display. Bezels off, dynamic rate control, brightness and screen dimming after a minute, scan lines on off. Sound, accessibility, legal, legal support. Credits. Oh. Secret. Oh, enter secret code. I'll have to try that. I won't do it now. Oh, I'm, I'm happy with this, I think. <laughs> Oh, you don't need to watch me playing R-Type, I'm certain of that much. So let's turn this off again. Battery looks like it's three quarters full, so that's good. Uh, yeah, any questions, ask me below. I should ping this back. There I am, I can lean back a bit. I mean, apologies for the mess everywhere. Uh, but yeah, any questions, drop me a comment below. I'll get this loaded up into onto my YouTube channel. Oh, man, look how long my hair is. Oh, I'm so pretty. Needs a good old wash. I found the shampoo and conditioner I'm after, so everybody's happy. Yeah, any questions, drop me a line. You know the, the score, you can get me on Twitter, you can get me on YouTube. Happy to, if there's anything particular you want to know about the Evercade EXP or the original Evercade or the Evercade VS, you can ask me. It's all in here somewhere. It's all in here somewhere. Anyway, yeah, catch you later. Toodle pips, guys. <laughs> So there we have it, another unboxing video from me. That was the Evercade EXP, a long time coming, but it's finally arrived. Let me know if you've got any questions, just put them on YouTube or Twitter, anywhere, really. <laughs>